Okay. Oh, yeah, goodness. Yeah. You suck food. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now you suck it. Oh. 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 You are right. You need some help? <laughs> no. Maybe not. You need some help with the fish? Oh, my uh, God. It's a strong uh, fish. It's strong. Look, look at that. that oh. <laughs> 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 you need some help? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo. Hey, Miguel. <laughs> the windy is perfect for the spinner bait. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Look at that. It's a big fish yeah. for entering the show. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Let me release it because I I don't want hurt fish. Wow. Good one, Edgar. It's good one. Yeah, that's Look a good that. one. Oh. Let me release the fish. Good job, Edgar. Thank you, Steve. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye, baby. <laughs> hey, Steve, we are glad because the big fish and you are being Babylon the Pesca TV show. Yes, well, I enjoy being part of your TV show. I enjoy your friendship, and I enjoy all my Mexican friends, and any time I can get to fish with you or them, it makes me very happy. Okay, do you, you know you have a, a lot of fans in Mexico? Uh, those people in Mexico, I'm a fan of theirs because okay. they're all good friends. Yes, yes, I am their fan. Okay, and for this reason, we need you show me whole fish, big fish. Well, yes, uh, I think the most important thing for big fish, especially for, uh, well, anything, is access to deep water. If you've got deep water close and you've got great structure for them to, to eat, okay. Uh, that's when you want to fish and then you got to get the timing right and the timing like for spinner baits for today the wind Okay, the wind is our friend. It's a friend. Mucho aire, mucho bueno. Well, because we have a good electronics. The oh, wind yeah. is no problem. Yeah, yeah. Ron Speed Jr. have good electronics oh, in both. Yes, he has great electronics. He okay. has Lawrence electronics and uh, and they're very good. Trolling yes. motor. Great trolling motors. Good batteries. A excellent. Everything is very good. It's, it's windy it's no problem. No, Wendy is no problem. Okay, excellent. Wendy is our friend. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Friend, Wendy. Okay, what do you think if go to entrance of the, the TV show and come back for you explaining more things for fishing a big fish? Perfect. Let's go. Okay. Perfect. Okay. okay, let's go. Vamos a entrar al programa y regresamos. Continúen con nosotros. Están en Vámonos de Pesca. Access to deep water, look, mm -hmm. is 54 feet. 54 feet deep, and this is nine feet. Okay. And this is the uh, palo allá. Okay. And uh, a lot of sticks. A lot of sticks and a lot of lot of tilapia eating right okay. now. Okay. So the bass are come to deep, they go to the shallow, the big ones, the okay. big ones are in the deep and they go to shallow, eat and go back to deep. Excellent. For this reason, we caught a, a yeah, big you, fish. you catch bigger fish okay. with deep, good deep water, very close to okay. your to your structure. Yeah. The, the beginner fisherman thing. Hey, come to a lot of wind. No, it's no good for fishing. Wind Wrong. is very good. Wind yeah, okay. is ex, ex, wind is excellent for fishing. Okay. It's very good. It stirs the water up. It's camouflage for the bait fish. Uh -huh. The bait fish. There's a lot of flash from the sun down in the in the water. A lot of flash. Okay. And so the bait fish start moving, start eating. When the bait fish start moving, start eating, the bass start moving and start eating. Excelente. Entonces ya saben, Raza, la próxima vez que estén pescando, si ven que eh, se viene el aire, un aire, how, how many miles do you have in the wind right now? Pardon me, uh, maybe this is uh, 15, 15, 15 miles per hour, 10 to okay. 15 miles per hour. Tenemos un, un aire de 15 millas ahorita y, y ya vieron ustedes que la lobina esa sin problema salió. El detalle es tener unos buenos electrónicos, se me refiero a electrónicos, tanto el troleador que traiga es un troleador con suficiente capacidad para mantener la lancha en, el, en la zona de pesca. De que es un poquito incómodo para las casteadas, pues eso lo puedes controlar con práctica, ¿verdad? Pero créeme que el día que aprendes a controlar este tipo de situaciones, vas a obtener capturas como la que acabas de ver ahorita antes de la entrada al programa. Vamos a ver si sacamos otra lobina de buen tamaño en esta zona. 
Ay, ay, ay. Good one. Ay, ay, ay. ay, ay, ay. A good ay, fish ay. sip. Oh, got off into the boat. God. Really? Yes. Oh, it's missing. Ay, ay, ay. Oh. <laughs> See, I'm having to hold the boat into the wind so you can fish it. So it's, it's kind of hard to catch them like that. Yeah. But it's okay. I think you will catch another one. I think so. <laughs> bueno, vamos a tratar de posicionar la lancha de frente al aire para tirar hacia la parte de atrás. El detalle es que si se mete la lobina abajo de la lancha puede haber un gran problema, pero vamos a intentarlo, no hay otra opción. Porque si tiramos de, del, del otro lado del vado donde estamos tirando, este, yo creo que va a ser más, más complicado tirar. Es nada más de acomodarte para cuando estás eh, tratando de encontrar las lobinas de buen tamaño. Y aprovechando que salió la bebé esa, pues vamos a ver los bebés de nosotros en esta sección que se llama BDP Kids, cortesía de Pastelería Leti. Vamos, acompáñenos. Estamos pescando aquí en lo hondo y, y a lo mejor ustedes dicen, está, están pescando en la nada, que es la frase así muy común entre los pescadores novatos, pero la realidad es que si Javi enfoca los pequeños arbolitos que vemos ahí, ahí está, nos indica que hay, una, hay un cambio considerable donde están las lobinas, que es donde les gusta estar a las lobinas, que es donde se hacen esos cambios drásticos, que esa es la, la estructura que buscamos y la cobertura que son las ramas como las que se están viendo ahí de fuera, pero lo estamos buscando ahí adentro, entre los 10 y 15 pies, pasando el spinner muy despacio por arriba de, por arriba de, de esas ramas para poder incitar a las lobinas que ataquen el señuelo. El señuelo, como se lo dijimos hace rato, es un spinner bite de la marca Oldham Lures, de one ounce, digo, de una onza pesado para que venga dragando ahí en el fondo y eh, asemejar la, la comida que está eh, comiendo la lobina en este momento. Entonces queremos aprovechar el... Encontrar las, los lugares donde, donde están comiendo y aprovechar el, el momento, porque es, es un, son 20 minutos, media hora, cuando sucede esto. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that a problem, Steve? It's a big fish. <laughs> it's a fish. problem? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. It's a big problem. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Look at that, ay, Steve. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good job, Edgar. Here, let me get... Oh, yeah. Look at that, my friend. <laughs> it's a 10-pounder fish, my friend. It's a 10-pounder, buddy. Oh, bite. my God. Oh, good job! Oh, wow! It's a big fish, Steve. It's a giant! Wow! <laughs> it's a giant Commodore fish, man! Yeah! Look at that, Steve! Oh! I'm going to try an English Britannic that falls in the mouth. You can hear my British English? Yes! Yeah, yeah! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! It's a big That's a good one, man! Oh, I can. You need some help? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a old, old fish. Yeah, it's old fish. You can see the lips. Yes. 
They look like yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good job, man. Oh. It's a 10 pounder fish, fish. Yes. nine pounders. Maybe it's, yes, yeah, nine, nine pounders. Nine pounders, yeah, yes. It's a very good fish. Oh. The windy is my friend. The wind is, is your my friend. friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. Right. Thank you, my friend. Vamos a liberarla. Esta preciosa lobinote. Vico. Yeah. It's worth to come to Comodero. Yes, it's worth it, for yeah. sure. You come to Comodero for the giant fish. And you know, you can't catch giant fish every day, but a lot of the times you concentrate on the right areas. Yeah, it's the right areas, very important. For yeah. sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I can see the, the rebuilding all the camp. Yes, all, the all new. All new. He's building all new, making it bigger, making it better. The, all of the rooms for sleeping, all of the, all of the restaurant, everything is all new. As you can see here in the images that our good friend Ron Speed para poder atenderlos mejor, este, remodeló todo el, todo el campo, todo el lodge, para poder recibirnos como nos merecemos y como se merecen todos ustedes. Aquí pueden ver el comedor que era una mesa para 12 gentes, ahorita se amplió tres mesas, donde es la señal que está recibiendo mucha gente alrededor del año para poder este, atenderlos como se merecen y, y poder eh, capturar lobinas de este tamaño como la que acaban de ver ahorita. La verdad, eh, habitaciones de primera, te bañas con agua caliente, te, te duermes con clima, las camas están muy confortables para que descanses bien y vengas a rendir tu día de pesca y obviamente te regreses a, a tu ciudad de origen con una sonrisa en la boca. Continuamos. Gracias por regresar aquí a Vámonos de Pesca. Y les comento que estamos pescando con Spinner Baits, la empresa del comedero y hospedados en este gran hotel, este gran campo, este gran lodge, que es Run Speed Junior Adventure. El día de hoy estamos pescando con Spinner Baits. Spinner Bait es, un, es el señuelo más versátil que puede haber en el mercado. Es el señuelo que puedes encontrar una infinidad de perfiles. Es un señuelo que lo puedes manejar de diferentes formas. Pero el día de hoy, como lo, ya lo viste, estamos pescando en un día con mucho aire. Eso, eso es, uh, hace un poquito incómoda la pesca en cuanto a las casteadas se refiere. Y esto porque cuando el spinner va en el aire, pues obviamente las cucharas van chocando unas con otras y hay veces que cae y el, el, la línea se enreda en el spinner mismo. Entonces, eh, queríamos comentarte que cuando hagas tus casteadas largas con un spinner bait del tamaño que sea, trates de que cuando va la casteada larga, y va a caer al agua el señuelo, lo frenes con el, o sea, pongas el dedo en el spool para frenar el spinner, así de esa forma donde viene eh, todo de una forma eh, no muy pareja, pues obviamente con la frenada que le das, se estire la línea y haga que el spinner caiga en una posición correcta y entre al agua haciendo eh, una técnica que se llama de helicóptero, ¿verdad? Aquí también es importante que sepas que eh, tienes que traer una caña muy sensible para saber que las hojas vienen haciendo su función correctamente. Eh, te lo comentamos en anteriores programas, la caña no nada más es para sentir los pescados, en este caso nos va a ayudar a saber que el spinner viene trabajando de una forma correcta. Te lo repito, haces tu casteada larga, cuando va el spinner en el aire, lo que vas a hacer es frenar la línea, ya casi cuando cae al agua, esto para evitar que haga esto y se regrese, es nada más al momento de caer al agua, jalas, se endereza y cae de una forma pareja y se sumerge de la forma correcta en el agua y así de esa forma haces una mejor presentación. Acuérdate que son tres puntos importantes, ubicación de la lobina, selección del señuelo y la presentación del señuelo. Entonces, para que hagas una buena presentación, trata de que el spinner caiga de una forma correcta, de la forma que te lo acabamos de indicar. Continuamos. Edgar. Yes. You know, the water is really hot here. It's 80 degrees and this isn't always the best for spinnerbait. You know, usually cooler water, like 60 degrees, 60, 55, up to 75 degrees is usually the primary, the best water for spinnerbaits. But with the wind blowing and the fish just getting off the beds and they've moved out a little bit and you got this wind and the fish are still eating the tilapia, 
is still a good time for spinnerbait. So, so although you can catch a lot more fish on plastics and jigs, possibly, you can still catch the big ones on spinnerbaits, obviously, because you've just showed how to do that. Uh-huh. Hey, but you know it's a warm day. It's warm, yeah. It's but very I don't warm. matter. No. Because I have my GMX jersey. GMX is a good company. Really? It's, yes, know, they're a very good company. You yes, know GMX? yes, they're a good company. How do how you know if you are in, you be in, in US? Well, because I've heard of them a lot, and a lot of people are using GMX now. Maybe it's because you are promoting. I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But they're a very good company. <laughs> yeah, it's a good company. Yeah. Hay veces que los nuestros amigos principiantes o que están poco familiarizados con con la pesca deportiva nos preguntan que cuándo es la buena temporada para para pescar. Yo les comento sarcásticamente, ahora es la manera de ser sinceros que que pues las lobinas ahí están todo el año, nada más se comportan diferente y este que no son como los patos, verdad, que se van a otro lado a buscar una temperatura mejor. Ahí están las lobinas y viene la temporada de calor. Ahora que se aproxima, pues obviamente no dudes ni tantito en eh, obtener tu jersey GMX es un jersey que trae una protección dry fit, es un jersey que trae una protección antibacterial y trae una protección que no, que te ayuda a que el jersey no huela de una forma desagradable, ¿verdad? Entonces, no es ni tantito en contactarte con este patrocinador que es GMX para que obtengas tu jersey, ahí ves los diseños que puedes obtener o si quieres diseñar tu, tu jersey propio, ahí ahí tienes la atención. Ay, 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 ay. You have a big one. Posible. Oh, it's a oh, good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, Edgar. Yeah, you need I a help. I need your help. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay. I help you. See. Oh, okay. Edgar. Por favor. It's a big fish. Oh, Come God. there, big fish. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> it's a really big fish. <laughs> Thank you, Edgar. I needed you to I needed you to get down there to catch it for me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this is the result of fishing in the right place with the right lure. That's right. At the right time. <laughs> in the right time, yeah. You know, a lot of times late in the evening when you get the wind, uh-huh. It's much better. Much better. Sure, yeah. yeah. Windy yeah, day. It's a beautiful fish, huh? <laughs> Okay, beautiful, yeah, beautiful fish. fish. He healthy fish. Yes, all healthy. Commodore special with Ron Speed Jr. Ron Speed Jr. <laughs> yes. Okay. You want to let the fish go for me? Here, I'll yeah. let you hold it, huh? Okay. You like? <laughs> yeah, I like. Bueno, continuamos pescando estas hermosas lobinas de aquí en la presa Comederos en el Ron Speed Junior Adventure. Continúen con nosotros, vamos a corte comercial, no se vayan. Por favor, pónganles atención a nuestros patrocinadores. Regresamos en un momento. Another big fish. Oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> I want to see that. I want to see that. Come on, baby. Head again. Maybe. I don't know how big. It's just a fish. Oh, it feels good. It's good. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 So, oh, oh, oh. Come on, Edgar! Hold on! Oh, oh my my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Yes! It's a really big fish! Hey! Migo! It's a big, big fish! Yeah! It's nine pounder! Yeah, it's bueno! Muy bueno, Migo! Muy bueno! Estas son las lobinas que hay aquí en Comedero. La verdad pudimos haber usado spinner más pequeños este, o plásticos, pero estamos viendo que el aire nos está ayudando a, a usar los spinner baits. Y aquí están los resultados, mira. 
está excelente lo vino. Hey, Bigo. Yeah. This fish have a, just one eye. Yes. You can see? Yeah, it's like me. It's I can like see you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Oh, hey. Because it's for this reason, you use uh, sunglasses it's all the time. old man, see? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's old man. See? See, it's only, only one eye. It's a hook it. Yes, but it's good. She's good. She could see the spinner bait. And the other eye is very big. Yeah. Very healthy fish too. Very good. It's fat. Yeah, and it was the same spot that the other one hit, so we just came back because there's a group of trees coming off the edge, and she came back and ate it. Very good. Excellent. Good one. Okay. Release. Let's get her in the water. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Hey Vigo, come to the deck. Huh? Come to the front deck. I'm old over the man. Wall. Yeah, yeah, I know you are. Help me. Yeah, 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 no problem. <laughs> Oi, I, I'm 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 uh, talk about the the place for fishing. Yeah. I'm talk about the presentation, the right presentation, the spinner bait. Yeah. But need to talk for my friends. What is the right, right, right combo for use a big spinner bait? This is a. Um, this is of course. Lou's, I think, makes the best rods in the world. I don't know of anybody that makes better rods than Lou's. Mm -hmm. And this is 7-Eleven, heavy action. But it's a fast tip. Moderate fast is for flipping. This fast tip on this 7-Eleven, it's a very good tip, especially for the big spinner baits. A one ounce spinner bait is a lot, it's, with a medium heavy action, you might want to use half ounce or smaller spinner baits. But with heavy action, you need to, with these bigger spinner baits, one ounce, you need this heavy action rod that's got a fast tip. You can throw it further. It's very, it's very sensitive. And my advice is 25 pound fluoro or braid, especially a Commodaro. Which kind of fluoro use it? Vicious, Vicious. Prolite. Prolite. It's the strongest, least amount of stretch braid on the market. Yeah, yeah, I know. For, sure. With you. yeah for, for sure. For sure. I know. I've checked every fluoro in the world. Everybody sends me fluoro. Hey, big old check, check, check. And I go, okay, I'll check. Last trip, another place goes, please, please check. I check. I break three fish in a row. Boom, boom. I said, no more. No. No more. I don't want to check your line anymore. Just buy for problem. I said, it's no good line. <laughs> no good line. Is it? Is I said, right? Give me my vicious. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We, we, we look for more big fish? I'm going to go right back to that same spot where we same caught two big fish, good. and I'm going to catch another one. Okay. <laughs> another big one? Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's a really oh, good one. Oh, good. yeah. That's yeah. a really good one. Huh? Help you again. That is a really good one. Oh! <laughs> Look at that fish. Hold on, hold on. Holy mackerel. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the big fish again. Ah, yo. Esto está más que emocionante el día de hoy. Yo no sé quién puede tener, no, en qué empresa se pueden tener tantas lobinas de este tamaño. Qué vivo. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Okay. What a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Another one. And this isn't even the best time of the year. This is this is just okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we're catching big fish like this, man. Another wow. beautiful fish. Wow. It's amazing. It's a healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Healthy fish. Good healthy fish. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get her back in the water. She's, okay. She needs a drink. Gracias, amiga. Adios, amiga. Amor. Adios. Hey! How was that, boys and girls? Isn't that fun? Man, if you want to have fun, this is fun. Holy mackerel. And the key is, I don't know if you noticed that Edgar and I 
We're throwing these spinner baits. We're not just reeling fast. No, you let it go down to the bottom and then you bring it across all of the trees and everything and keep going even next to the boat because that one was right in front of the boat, right under the boat. And I'm just bringing it up real slow, right over a tree, real slow and all of a sudden, boom! Just the way we like it. Think fast, fish slow. That's right, think fast, <laughs> fish slow. Come on, another good one. It's a wood one. It's another wood one. Let me get out of your way. Hey, good good job. Oh man, that's a good one. Hey, let me help. Let me help. Okay, let help me. Help. Oh, very strong fish. Wow. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Take a sip. <laughs> Another one, boys and girls. That's what you do. Look at that. Wow. It's a very beautiful, beautiful fish. fish. Beautiful All fish. the fish are beautiful. Yeah. Especially when you have them in your hand. <laughs> yeah. Good That's job, right. my friend. Thank you, my friend. Good job. Very nice place for fishing. Ron Speed Junior Adventure. <laughs> <risa> Listo. Vamos a liberar esta preciosa lobinota. Primero, eh. Oh. Ahí se fue. Muy bien. Dicen, ¿por qué no te la llevas? Pues porque sabe más sabrosa en la caña que cuando está en el sartén. Eh, eh, por cierto, les recuerdo. Run Speed Junior Adventures ya tiene WhatsApp para que les coticen más rápido y vean la disponibilidad para que los atiendan como se merecen, aquí están los datos en pantalla, aquí puedes marcar inmediatamente, te vas a tener una respuesta para saber este, cuándo tienes planeado venir aquí a, a Run Speed Junior Adventures, especialmente aquí a la presa Comederos, para que tengas un día de pesca como el que tenemos el día de hoy. Mr. Bigo, el me. It's a good trip. It's a good trip. Good I'm trip. glad you have yeah. a good trip. Wow. For sure. Yeah, I'm excited. Are you excited? excited? Well, yeah. you should be. Yeah. Hey, and another thing, Folks, the key to the bite, last two big ones we caught before this one, or before these two, was in a sweet spot. And once you get the sweet spot, you return the boat and fire the same area and catch more fish, more big ones. This one had two big ones on, that one had two big ones, this one had two big ones. We just put the boat in the same spot, make the same cast, fish very slow, very slow. And all of a sudden, boom. Huh? Boom. <laughs> boom is right, yeah, baby. Spinner Olham. No le tengan miedo a los, a los spinner grandes. Eh, to, como les dije hace rato, todos los spinner están diseñados para una situación. La situación de hoy estaba todo diseñado para usar estos grandes spinner baits que son eh, Olham Lures. Ahí los puedes adquirir en Bazar y con sus distribuidores alrededor de la República Mexicana. Está la tienda en línea aquí en pantalla para que no te no dejes de tener en tu caja un spinner bait de esta calidad de Olham. No hay mejor spinner bait en los eh, spinner bait de, de gran tamaño que los spinner de Olham Blues. Ay, 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 ay. Es another good one. Oh yeah. Really? Yes. Wow. Possibly. 
Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Help, Edgar, help. I help you see. Oh, God. Y esto no pasa. Es así, saliendo los vinos. De ese tamaño, mira. Es impresionante la cantidad de lobinas que estamos sacando de ese tamaño. Wow, sí. Congratulations, my friend. Is it fun? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, my friend. Good. Ah, oh, yeah. Good, beautiful fish. Oh. oh, big hook. Another beautiful fish. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Another beautiful fish. Ah. <sighs> And what can you say? You can't say anything except you gotta go. That's all you'll say. And, and I promise you, you come to Commodore with Ron Speed Jr. and you will bring all of your friends. You'll go, you want the fishing trip of a lifetime? Come on, let's go. Let's go, good fish. Okay, my love. Back in the water. Are you ready? Yes. Show me. Bingo. That's the way it's done right there. Every fish, 16 to 18 foot deep. Summertime pattern. Perfect. The water's not, the water's cold down there. They like it. And I love it because they like it. Hey, Bingo. See? The sunset is here. Yes. It's been a good day, my friend. Oh, excellent day. You had fun, yes? Yeah. A lot. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad too. But because uh, you are a good uh, professor, fish bass professor. Yes. Yeah, all the people in Mexico love it because you don't keep nothing. Yeah. Show me all the, all the situation, all the technique, why the, fish, the big fish are in the hot spot and something like that. Yeah. Well, on this, we were talking about, you know, in the summer, this is summertime here and Although most people fish spinnerbaits, they fish spinnerbaits when it's cooler and they fish shallow water. Okay. Well, the truth is you can fish big spinnerbaits any time of year. All right. Any time, no matter what the water temps are. We're not fishing shallow water for these big fish. We're fishing deep water. Okay. And it's cooler down there. The water down there where they're at is much cooler, so they'll eat when they're deep like that. So none of these fish were less than 15 foot yeah. You know, most people fish spinnerbaits in shallow, shallow water. water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the truth is you can catch the big ones all year long on big spinnerbaits. Just get the get the bait down there deep, fish slow, almost like Carolina rig. Yeah. You know, just keep it on the bottom and keep it in the trees, keep it in the rocks, and just move it slowly, just enough to keep the blades turning. It's very important to know. Big spinner baits catch big fish. Yeah, I know because uh, I know I know the 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 designer of the spinner bait yeah. have a, a spinner bait for each situation. Yeah. The the right situation today is big spinner bait in the deep water. In the deep water. Windy day. That's right. And the, the result is and it. it's perfect. <laughs> yes, yeah. perfect. Yeah, it's always perfect. Amigos, esperamos que el programa haya sido de su agrado. La verdad siempre es un honor tener a Steve aquí con nosotros porque ya vieron por qué siempre nos enseña grandes cosas para encontrar lobinas de como las que vieron en el programa, así que les pedimos de favor que no se pierdan otro programa más aquí en Vámonos de Pesca. <música>